Hey everyone, Eman here with RemoraLite.com. In this video, we'll have a look at the Late Prints tab in Remora. Knowing where institutional trades are and have been historically is paramount in gauging the health of the market and gives you the ability to spot a correction before it happens. Seeing massive trades across the indices, the SPY, the Qs, IWM, and the Diamonds can signal massive buying or selling. How are these trades different from other dark pool trades? They're trades that are reported up to 24 hours late and the volume is appearing in the wrong candle, hence the name of the tab. It's very easy to spot these trades as they come across the time in sales at a price we have not traded at the day they hit the tape. Also, these trades have signal share sizes. For example, the SPY may have sizes of about 251K, 501K, 502k, 503, or multiples of these. The Qs may have sizes of 205, 401, 410k. The IWM may have sizes of 125k, and similar for the diamonds. We call these prints Levi's after the signature share size of the SPY being 501k. Looking at the four tables, they are by default sorted by date, newest to oldest. The Levi price columns are either red or green depending on the official market close. If the Levi price is above the close, then the price is red, indicating potential bearishness, while if the market closes below the Levi price, this can be bullish. The number of Levi's indicate the total print count at that price, followed by the total volume of the level. For easy reference, you'll notice under the SPY, anything over 10 million is highlighted in green. For the Qs, anything over 3 million is highlighted. For the IWM, anything over 1.5 million. And on the Diamonds, anything over 500,000. The next four columns are self-explanatory. For good measure, we've added in percent of dark pool, which indicates what portion of the total volume for the day were these prints. You want to spot a correction? Let's have a look back to 2020. We can see on January 17th a $4.5 billion trade at $330.85. Four days later, there was another $4.7 billion trade at $332.14. On February 21st, there was a $4 billion trade at $337.06. Look at the volume. That was a screaming short if you ever saw one. The selling then started. Through to March 23rd, there were 463 million shares traded with an average total of $132.4 billion. You can see the correction across all the indices. Do your stocks follow the trend with one of these indices? It's good to know if we're above or below prints when making trading decisions. On that note, let's move on to the next video, the Dark Bull Tabs. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and like this video.